welcome to another episode of Hub Chat. Today we are joined by the lovely Andrea. Hi, Sam. Thank you for joining us. So the purpose of these is just um, to enable members to give a little bit of background about themselves so we can all get to know each other a little bit better. Nice. So if you could start just by um, yeah, giving us a little bit of insight to the projects that you're working on at the moment. Yeah. So um, at the end of last year, I set up a little autonomo business called Poolside. Yep. Um, set up a pop-up shop at the other side of the island, um, curating an art collection, uh, some really funky design-led objects, so notepads and uh, cushions and mugs and things like that. Um, it's mostly the artwork that I'm, I'm enjoying setting up, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so what's your... Is that, that's something that you've done before you came to the island, right? Yeah, so my business back in France was very much based around um, art products, uh -huh. illustration, turning uh -huh. illustrations into, into any form of product. So it might be deck chairs or mugs or trays or mouse mats or limited edition art prints. Um, so that's where the sort of love of digital came from. Uh -huh. And then there's all sorts of, you know, there's just with everything that's going on in the internet and the programs and things, everybody can be an artist, but it's, yes. yeah, it's, it's an endless source of new discoveries. So um, are you designing yourself or you like to work with artists that has that on? I've mostly worked with artists, but I have yeah. recently, after the whole lockdown thing, started uh -huh. actually doing my own artwork as well. Amazing. Which is really satisfying yeah. and quite daunting. And sure. gives you a lot more um, understanding of how much it takes, dedication it actually takes to be a real artist. Yes, yeah, yeah. kind of putting your creative work out there to be judged. Yeah, exactly. Whole hurdle, isn't yeah, it? exactly. Yeah, it, it's, it takes quite, quite, quite something. Yeah. And lots of, I got recommended, recommended not so long ago to actually make sure that you keep every single piece of artwork that you create. Okay. Because it's all part of the journey to go on to something different. For sure. And very quickly realise that I'm not watercolours, I'm very. Uh, geometric, very structured, uh -huh. and that's quite interesting as well. So, very yeah, cool. Just seeing where that can go. Nice one. Yeah. So, um, obviously, we've got the pleasure of being in Ibiza. Yeah. Um, when did your When did your story with Ibiza start? So, first I came. To, first time I came to Ibiza was about 16, 16, 50, uh, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, and actually swapped a piece of artwork for a stay in a villa, um, very, which is a pretty nice way to get yeah. um, introduced to the island. Yeah. And then basically just never wanted to leave and then found every single excuse I could to come back. So Hindus, um, you know, cheeky weekends away. Yeah. Um, was living quite close to Geneva because it, so it was quite easy to just flip over for a, for a long weekend. Yeah. And then again, had that feeling of never wanting to leave every time. And then when life, my life circumstances changed, mm -hmm. really thought about, okay, where do I want to go? And then the decision to come to Ibiza and everything just went Fell and flowed really, really easily. Yeah. So I followed my heart really and, Amazing. and came so here. So how, how long have you been here now? So I've been here three and a half years. Mm -hmm. So starting to starting to feel like it's home. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. takes some time, takes a bit of adaptation. Sure. Yeah. And you've been a member for the hub, so you've seen it evolve quite a lot, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot. Um, what would you say, if you were to try and describe the hub, what is the hub to you? Uh, well, I mean, the first word that comes to mind is community. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fact that you can find everything and everyone here, everyone's skill sets are so diverse mm -hmm. um, and we're all fairly open people looking for fabulous connection, internet connection yeah. and to actually try and tap into a community of people that you can't get at home. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think in, from a business sense it's brilliant, mm -hmm. so I'm actually working with some other people here, yep. um, setting up different projects, got help with my social media, uh -huh. um, There's a, I met a coach the other day who I'd love to uh, interview yep. for the new podcast series that I'm just yep. about to launch as well. Wicked. Um, which you so, also went on which the podcast course Which I also did the here, podcast right? course here. Yep. So yeah, there's just this wealth of information and knowledge which I think is really valuable on an island where actually everybody's quite dissipated. Sure. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't live in an, in the in one of the city, sort of cities. Yeah. The villages, the yeah. big villages. So for me it's really really key to to meet people here. Yeah. Amazing. And what would you say to uh, you know someone that's kind of sat on the fence and has thought about because of the situation, you know, being forced to work from home, or you know, is maybe just considering what they're doing with their life, and yeah. has always thought, well, one day I might move to Ibiza. What yeah. would you say to those? People? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it. Yeah. Um, make make the one day, you know, sooner rather than later. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Um, 
you know, I'm well, you know, I moved here with my two kids. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's it's definitely got its challenges living sure. in Ibiza. Yes. Um, but I think it's worth it. Um, I really do. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And on the on the family side of things, like um, you know, obviously there's a, there's so much to this island which we get to know. Obviously, when you live here, you see a completely different thing to, mm. you know, the holidays we were sort of portrayed mm. or enjoyed when we when we first started coming. So as you know, being a mum and, and having having the family here, what does what does your kind of like best winter activities look like? What do you do when uh, you know when you enjoy yourself? Yeah, hiking. Winter, winter is all about the hiking and the biking. It's just too hot in the rest of the time. Yeah. So it's about finding the off-road trails. Well, we tried the uh, bikes the here bikes on, so uh, cool, on, on Tuesday the other day. That was brilliant. Yeah. Found a whole new path around the back of, you know, from here to Santa Gertrudis and yeah. up to all over the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to discovering a few more trails. But yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's probably the key. And then sunsets. Yes. The light. So phenomenal, The light isn't it? over winter is yeah, next yeah, level. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, looking forward to... Uh, Looking forward to tapping into a few more of those. <laughs> Amazing. So one thing, just before we wrap up, what we're trying to do is um, obviously trying to get people inspired at the minute. Mm. So if you were to look back over your career, across anything you've done, what is the thing you're most proud of? That's a really good question. Mm. It doesn't have to be one thing, but you know, what's the thing? It's like, yeah, I did that. Over, over and above making babies. <laughs> I mean, that's a phenomenal achievement, goes that about is, saying. I mean, yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> well, I, th I think actually it's probably the business in France. We built, we built a business really on a, on, a, on a shoestring, as everybody does when they're starting a business. Yeah. You know, we now full-time employ six people. Amazing. We're looking to take on a seventh person. We've just in, so last year was our 10-year uh, anniversary of the business. Congratulations. Um, we threw a massive party, which was, which was brilliant. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I'm really pleased, I'm really proud of that. As you should because be. Because it takes quite a lot of grit and determination. Um, setting up the new business here is really exciting and definitely doing the podcast oh my god the podcast is definitely challenging but I think I'm going to be very proud of it when I've done it yes because it's a whole nother learning skill set which um, is all tech which mm -hmm. I'm, is not my strong point sure so I think if I can uh, keep well when, when. I, when, when when I get yeah. to the year I think I'll be very proud of having got to the year so I'm proud of what I've done proud of getting here yeah proud of making its work here because yes. it's not without its challenges For like sure. i already said yeah and then i'm looking forward to yeah okay one year's time i'm looking for one year's time and i'm looking forward to how that's going to feel wicked <laughs> amazing thank you for joining us thanks sir nice one <laughs>